To us at the Nigerian Stock Exchange, we remember him for his fatherly role on the Council of the Exchange, as been stated by Chief Aguban Joe, uh, our lead papa was one of the people that even signed the memo of the Nigerian Stock Exchange, apart from being a solicitor of the exchange. The many companies that he invested in and encouraged to lead on the exchange and the initiatives he championed in corporate law, which made impact on many companies, most importantly as one of the signatories of the Nigerian Stock Exchange. On a personal note, Papa's active years in corporate Nigeria were before my time as the chairman of the exchange, but I was privileged to work closely with his son, uh, Chief Abibola Ogobanjo, when he was the chairman of the board of the exchange. And the very positive values that Chief Agobanjo lived life by and championed were evident in his son and the entire family. We are thankful to Almighty God that Chief Agobanjo lived a long and fulfilled life, and we can only ask that the Almighty grant him well-deserved rest and console the family who will definitely miss him most. I think uh, Baba was a very, very well-respected, uh, you know, Nigerian, uh, African, uh, like what I said earlier on in my speech, we've been, uh, I've been hearing about Baba's name even when I was in school. So he was actually the titan of industrialization, uh, titan of, uh, you know, the legal profession in Nigeria, especially when it comes to commercial law. Uh, he was the person that actually registered the stock exchange of which now were the beneficiaries. So Baba will remain in our hearts for a very, very long time because of what he had actually done in this uh, you know, life. So we cannot say anything but just to continue to pray for the repose of his soul. I mean, the Almighty God, you know, uh, you know, uh, may his soul rest in public peace. I mean, I was an extraordinary individual, deeply committed to Nigeria, and much strongly expressing in the works that he did in industry, in law, in commerce, in the development of society. Papa was a devout uh, Christian, and he was he led a life of continuous encouragement and promotion of the very best for the Nigerian citizens and the citizens of their country. Baba actually lived a good life until ripe old age and there is a hope also that all that he stands for will continue to be established. Baba was great. Thank you. One would be really confident and happy that the young generation have actually responded to, so much to the good training that are, has been extended to them. And I see the performances in the diversity of creativity that they continue to render, to render and uh, they hope that he's been inspired by them for the future.